What they show you in the trailer and the real game sometimes do not match. And when they don't, it's usually for the worse. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, the five worst graphics downgrades from trailer to release. Just a quick note, if you want to watch part one, we talked about Mass Effect Andromeda, Forza 5, The Division, No Man's Sky, Killzone 2, Dark Souls 2, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Rainbow Six Siege, Aliens, Colonial Marines, and Watch Dogs. And I think these videos work out well because a lot of the times it's easy to forget about this stuff because stuff is happening so fast in the gaming industry at all times. In some ways, keeping the memory alive is keeping the companies accountable. It's good to have reference points is all I'm saying. Starting off at number five, it's Cyberpunk 2077 on the PS4 and Xbox One. Now, depending on what you're playing it on, Cyberpunk 2077 can be this absolutely stunning game or a blurry, boxy mess, for lack of a better word. On the original PS4 and Xbox One, this game looks bad. Like, it can be really rough, and it is not demonstrated at all in the trailer. For this game, one of the biggest problems was how it was sold as a game for the previous generation. Like, it still doesn't have boxed versions of PS5 and Xbox Series X, so it kind of seems like the previous generation was what this game was targeted for. I mean, consider how long ago it was announced. And most players assumed it would look fine on their old consoles, but that ended up being really very wrong. Now, in no way is it wrong to enjoy cyberpunk on any platform here. But we're just talking about comparing what's shown in the trailers, especially that gameplay reveal from 2018, and seeing that the quality just is not the same, especially when we're talking about those console versions. In a recent article by Bloomberg, some anonymous developers from CD Projekt Red came out and said the E3 2018 demo was almost entirely faked. We're not talking about a few minutes of footage here either that wouldn't be the worst thing we've ever seen, but this particular reveal was about 50 minutes of uncut gameplay, so they spent a lot of time getting that footage right, even though the game was still mostly unfinished when that reveal came out. Comparing that reveal to the final game, certain things like the lighting in B's apartment are way less dynamic, city streets aren't quite as dense with people, but these slight changes aren't really the real issue, are they? It's how much worse the game looks on last gen consoles. Like for all intents and purposes, they should be at least comparable, but it doesn't just look worse, it looks way worse. At release, on a standard PS4, the pop-in was atrocious. NPCs could be looking like a literal jumble of polygons with Vaseline smeared on them. And you don't just see this stuff by rushing around or anything, it's just how the game works. It looks like this a lot. Like they've improved some of this stuff a lot already, but it is still pretty rough looking, especially compared to pre-release trailers. And number four is Anthem. Remember that incredible reveal trailer for Anthem in 2017? It made that game look absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, it's a good looking game. I don't wanna say that it's not at least pretty good looking, but it did end up being basically nothing like what that trailer was depicting. But right from the start, the whole trailer seems fishy. It begins with a walk through Fort Tarsus, and it only barely resembles what it even looks like in the final game. Full of NPCs, full of activity, and in the actual game, it's a small and pretty empty area. Certain things like cloth blowing the wind aren't even present in the final game, and directly comparing the environment outside the fort you see to how the lighting is much more intense and layered to how it looks in the game... Not like that. On the ground, the trailer shows these thick layers of trees and brushes that aren't there. Shows in-mission animations like this gorilla thing fighting some wolf monsters. That doesn't happen in the game. Anywhere, lots of other stuff stands out too, like this scene where a walker robot gets attacked. The explosions and smoke are layered and vibrant, and there is just nothing of any similar effect in the actual game. The level of detail shown in this trailer is like really impressive. The shadows, the reflections, the texture fidelity, it's all incredible. And it is far beyond anything in the actual game. And despite the fact that I have a ton of criticism for Anthem, it is actually a pretty good looking game. It's just not even approaching the level of detail that trailer showed us. So it should come as no surprise that that trailer was mostly faked, right? In 2017, when they debuted that trailer, Anthem was barely even a game. It had a few rudimentary mechanics implemented, but at the time they didn't even really know what kind of game they were making. 
and basic stuff like mission structure hadn't even been worked out. Like, this is not the first game with a tumultuous development cycle. Cyberpunk did as well, but it's crazy to think that this game started developing in 2012 and was still almost completely directionless half a decade later, but that seems to be the case. It was confusing and generally just bad project management that led this game to being so downgraded compared to its initial reveal. Most people probably think of Anthem as a disappointment, and the main reason for that is that the initial trailer was so impressive. And also, games as a service really has not figured out what the hell it's doing with this type of cam. MMORPGs just work way better for that, and they just don't know what they're doing with this kind of stuff. See Marvel's Avengers. At number three is Warcraft 3 Reforged, a game where we were shown in the trailer a lot of stuff that is technically in the game, but is no way how it was implied at BlizzCon 2018, and also like verbally promised for that matter. The most noticeable change from trailer to actual game are the cutscenes. In the trailer, we saw dramatic camera movements and close-ups of characters, stuff that would have really livened up the game. The actual in-game cutscenes are basic and static, and essentially how they looked in the original game from 2002. The weird thing is, even though the camera is far away in that game, you can still tell the models are lip sync to the dialogue. It's such a weird, unnecessary detail when the camera is so zoomed out, but it would have made sense if we had gotten cutscenes with close-ups of the characters. The trailer also promised remastered maps and campaigns, which is really vague, and the game did actually see some major updates to areas like Stratholm. But maps are mostly identical in layout, it's not a surprise really that one of the only areas that got updated in this remaster is the one depicted in that trailer. It kind of seems to indicate that Blizzard changed their mind on the direction of the remaster, or basically gave up and made as few changes as possible before selling it. We don't really know what was going on within Blizzard, but we can definitely say that the 2018 trailer doesn't show what the game actually ended up being. When it comes to downgrading, what's even weirder is that the graphic quality shown in the trailer isn't way better or anything. And a lot of the issues people have with Reforged come with features that were removed from Warcraft 3 rather than necessarily what was promised in that trailer. But still, Reforged is a pretty notable example of a trailer promising one thing and the game being something else. At number two is Atlas. Remember this one? Atlas kind of came out big and fell flat on its face. It's still got a core group of players keeping it afloat, and the developers haven't given up on it or anything, but to say this game didn't live up to the promises of the trailer would be a huge understatement. Like, when we first saw the trailer for this game, we were just completely amazed by it. These huge cities were filled with life, beautiful seaside vistas, massive sea battles, all in a very living, massively multiplayer online world. There was adventure and exploration. It looked like anything could happen. But of course, this kind of thing is too good to be true. The developer, Grapeshot Games, has a history also of overpromising and underdelivering, especially with some of the recent Ark Survival Evolved expansions. Still, their promises for that game are nothing compared to what is shown here. Uh, like much of what is on display in the trailer is either just a gross exaggeration or a total fabrication. Like this shot of cannonballs hitting a fortress, the explosions and smoke look layered and complex compared to the next few shots shown just seconds later that make it clear that the explosions are simply a flat texture. Like that's an example of downgrading you can see in two different clips in the same trailer. Like the graphics in the trailer compared to how they look in game are just miles apart. The lush jungles from the trailer are nowhere to be found. Towns that are bustling and full of NPCs are mostly empty in the real game. The trailer makes it look like an action MMO, like a bigger and more sandboxy Sea of Thieves, but that is not what the game is. In reality, it's basically just Ark on a larger scale. It's a survival game. You spend most of your time collecting resources and trying to survive. The only way you ever see anything like what's shown in the trailer is if you have a huge group to play with. And even then, it obviously doesn't look nearly as good or smooth as the trailer. Trailer. And finally is number one with WWE 2K20. Okay, so for this one, the original trailer isn't that great. It basically looks like what you'd expect from any of these wrestling games by now, but the fact they showed a functioning game in the trailer is, I mean, that is misleading, right? WWE 2K20 is just a mess from top to bottom. 
Trailers, of course, make it look like a standard continuation of the franchise, but it is an absolute disaster. Like the basic graphics aren't even that much of an issue here. The WWE 2K games have never looked great. In fact, their downgraded nature has kind of been an issue from year to year. Like compare The Rock in 2K19 versus 2K20, he looks way worse in 2K20. Like his face texture seems way less detailed. He seems to be missing some of the light map or reflective texture or whatever. Like it's an issue across the board too. The game just looks worse than the previous year's version. 2K19 didn't even look that great to believe with, but some of these faces, yikes. But that's not the issue. The real issue is the endless, ridiculous array of bugs. Like it takes what would be a mediocre placeholder addition to the franchise and makes one of the worst games we've seen in years. And the reason the game turned out so badly can probably be attributed to the normal developer of these games, Ukes, being replaced with visual concepts that primarily works on the NBA 2K games. Normally they would just assist Ukes, but this year they were the sole developer, while at the same time trying to make the new NBA game, so you can probably guess where all the resources went for this. So yeah, the trailer didn't exactly promise the moon on this one, but it did promise a normal working game, which was still way more than what we got. Well, how about yourself? What did you think of any of these games? Were you disappointed when you saw the real one versus the trailer? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. The best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe. Don't forget to enable all notifications. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.